It just seems that every time I want to film a video, he decides to sit on me. He is any other time of the day, but no, now is that time. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a magical week so far. For today's video, it's a Disney haul and I have not filmed a Disney haul in three whole months. The last one was in November of last year. It's now near the end of February right now. So there's quite a lot of stuff to get through. So without further ado, let's just jump straight on into this video. So first up, I normally start off my hauls with a reusable shopper bag and this one will be no different. I was in Glasgow over the weekend and I got a Coco reusable shopper bag. You just have the brand new Disney Store logo up here, um, it says Disney Pixar, then we have, well it says Coco, and then you've got Hector, Miguel and Ernesto on the, on the side, on the front. It's the same pattern on both sides and then on the side we have the guitar and that's just the same on that side and then it's just got a popper on the top which I guess gives you some form of security and it's just red handles and this was three pounds which is kind of about standard price for the shopper bags in the Disney store. Next up is a little something from Clinton's that I actually forgot I had. I found it in the bottom of a bag and it's just this Jungle Book magnet and it was supposed to be $1.99. I got it in the sale in January for 99 pence and as I say that was from Clinton's. Next up, sticking with the smaller items theme, I got the Disney Store gift wrap tissue paper. I think I'll end up using this, I'm not obviously going to keep it like this, but I thought for £2 for nine sheets, I thought that was really good because I actually thought you only got three sheets, but you must get three of each colour. So you've kind of got, well you've obviously got a pink one, a blue one, and a, I don't know, brownie, bronzy coloured one. Um, and the sheets are... 20 inches by 26 inches? Pardon? I don't know. I'd say they'll be more like rectangles than square sheets anyways, and that's that, and it just says the price on the back. This is actually sold out online, but they still do have it in store. Next up, a Primark item, and I did show this in my Primark haul. I got the Mickey hot water bottle. They've now reduced them, I've seen on like Instagram and stuff. Um, I got this with some Christmas vouchers. This was eight pounds. As I say, I have seen on Instagram that they are selling them off. They're now reduced, I think they're like half price. But the hot water bottle comes included. It's a kind of velvety texture. He has his ears, his little winking face, and it's really adorable. And it'll be perfect for, well, next winter. If you did not know, I do collect all of the Disney classics on Blu-ray, but they didn't release them all on Blu-ray, so I've had to fill in the gaps with the DVDs, which is slightly annoying. And the last one I needed was Saludos Amigos, and I do collect them with these O-ring slipcovers. I got this in HMV for $4.99. I did watch it, <laughs> very random indeed. Then the Disney, then the Disney, I was gonna say the Disney store, but then Disney just decided to release um, covers for live action movies and then that just screwed me over as well um, and I then got Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. I already own The Curse of the Black Pearl with this um, with the special cover. I'm not after all of them by the way, I just want certain ones in this set so that was that one. And then Marvel decided to do the same and HMV did have a good offer on when I was in HMV two or three weeks ago where the Marvel Blu-rays were two for £15, which I thought was a bargain. So I got Ant-Man, which is a really good underrated Marvel movie, and then I also got Captain America Civil War. They're both really good movies. I cannot wait for Infinity War, and I'll get around to seeing Black Panther at some point too. But yeah. Sticking with things that come in boxes and cases, we have two Funko Pops. The first one, is Aurora. Now normally I only collect Beauty and the Beast pops, which you will see in a sec, but um, I do have a little Sleeping Beauty collection going on. I will leave the link for that in the description down below. But I decided to get Aurora because she was just too cute not to get. And she was $9.99 on the Forbidden Planet website. And I'm sure you'll probably still be able to get her on there now. And also websites like EMP, Pop in a Box, I'm pretty much sure that they will still have her as well. She's number 235, she comes in her pink dress. You can buy her in stores as well in her blue dress. 
um, when I did do my pre-order there was a 1 in 6 chance she would come in that blue dress but I am not a fan of the blue dress so very happy I got pink which is part of this princess collection here that also contains Mulan, Merida, Aurora herself and Jasmine so that was that one and the second one I actually bought off an Instagrammer and that was Lumiere so I have lots of Bells and Beasts and I have well this is my first um I was gonna say household appliance, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is Lumiere. I wanna get Cogsworth from the animated version, and I also want to get Mrs. Potts from the live action ones, because I don't like the look of the Mrs. Potts and Chip. They make them look really cute in this photo, but they don't look that cute in person, I don't think. So yeah, I think I paid, I think it was like 11 pound all in for him, which included the postage. So that was him, and he's number 93 in this set of four. Now we move on to the Tsum Tsums. There are quite a few to get through, including a quite large set. So the first ones are Christmas ones. I know, crazy. And I got these three from the Christmas set. I don't normally buy sort of the characters in different outfits, but I kind of couldn't resist some of these. So I got Figaro, who's a little reindeer. He looks really cute in his little tartan scarf. I got Goofy, who I think is my favourite from this set. He's got his Santa hat on, and these lights are actually embroidered onto him. And there's just so much detail gone into him. And then Minnie looks adorable in her little hat with her little pom-pom. And she's also in a little tartan scarf, and yeah, we love her. Tsum Tsums are still £3 each from the Disney store. Next up is an older release Tsum Tsum I bought off a Facebook group and I managed to get my hands on Sadness. She came really squished and she's still a bit squished now but yeah she's just got her little jumper on and her little face she's so cute with the older style tags that I much prefer. Then just recently off Facebook yet again I got Pua and Hey Hey. Now I was only after Hey Hey um, because why, why wouldn't you buy Hey Hey? He is an actual iconic character. He honestly, he's like the funniest thing in Moana. I'm not gonna lie. He's just amazing. Uh, but the seller was also selling Pua, so I just thought I'll get the two together. So I actually do prefer Hey Hey to Pua, I am sorry. Pua is cuter, yes, but he's not in the movie that much. Um, but that's him from the side. And then that's Hey Hey from the side as well. So next up I will show you Sooms from a movie I have just recently seen and that's Coco. I did enjoy it, I wasn't, I didn't cry or anything like a lot of people did, but I did enjoy it and it was good. It was definitely a step up from like The Good Dinosaur, which I did not like. So first up we have Mama Imelda, so that is her. Then we have Dante who was super, super adorable. We love him and his floppy ears and his floppy tongue and his tail. Yeah, love him. And then we have Hector and Miguel. I really wish that they had released a Miguel without the face on him, but I guess he kind of spends most of the movie like this, but yeah, that's me just being really picky. So that's Miguel and then Hector, um, as I already showed, I I think Hector's my favourite character. I really, really liked him. Um, but if you haven't seen Coco, you do need to see it. It is a really good Pixar movie. Um, just, it's not my favourite one, but it is really good. Um, so yeah, I do recommend you do check it out. Next up is something, um, is the most recent set that the Disney Store have released, which is the Pocahontas set. Now, unfortunately, they did release five of them, but I only bought two, and I bought these in store um, two days ago. And I got Pocahontas herself with her little rosy cheeks and her long black hair and her outfit which is kind of mostly covered by the long black hair but she is still really cute and I also got Percy. I wasn't actually going to buy Percy, I'm not a big Percy fan, I know a lot of people are but his Tsum Tsum was just really really cute but what annoyed me was in the store I was in which was the Glasgow one they'd sort of crammed all the Pocahontas Tsum Tsums into like a glass jar and all the tags were bent and Flit's wings were all bent and out of shape and oh, I just couldn't, I couldn't buy one like that so 
that was those two. And finally, <clears throat> I got the Princess Castle set. This came out last year and cost $28.99. It contains 11 micro-sized Tsum Tsums of the princesses and I honestly think it's such good value for money. My only criticism is the material that the castle's made of feels a bit staticky on the fingers. But the detailing on these micro Tsum Tsums is so good and some of them are Tsum Tsums that haven't been released before. So ones like Tiana, I know they've been in like special sub boxes in the States and stuff. Merida, just but I'm not going to show you them all individually but they're really detailed. So Merida has on one side her arrow, no that's her bow sorry, and then on that side she's got her little arrows. So there is so much detail on these little Tsum Tsums. So if you can get your hands on it I honestly recommend it because it's perfect for little princesses and well, a big prince like me. Next up, I have some pins. This first one I bought off a Facebook group because it's a Beauty and the Beast pin. It's from the States, definitely. And it is this lovely stained glass pin, which won't focus. And it does say beauty is found within on it. And then you open it up and it's a mirror inside. And there's my little setup. <laughs> so that's that one. And then the other two are from a set that Disneyland Paris released in December, I believe. And it's this little cute princess and prince couple set. So I got Aurora and Philip from my little Sleeping Beauty collection. And these are just so adorable. Um, I'm not sure if they still have them in the parks. They are open edition, so the chances are they probably will. It is only February, and these are Orange Band, which is €7.99 if you're going anytime soon. And then the other one is obviously Belle and Beast for my ever-growing Beauty and the Beast collection. Again, this is also orange at €7.99. Next up is the final Primark item. So there was only two Primark things in this video. I'm very impressed. Again, I did show this in my last Primark haul, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. But I did finally manage to get my hands on a Mrs. Potts teapot. She's still in the box, I have nowhere to display her, but I am very happy that I got her. I did buy her on a Facebook group. She's got a really cute, adorable face and her smile, her rosy cheeks, the gold detailing and the trim is just really, really pretty. A lot of people in different other haul videos have said not to use it as a teapot, she's more sort of display. It does say that she is not suitable for microwave use on the bottom and hand wash only, so please be careful. I do also think someone also said that when they washed her the gold was coming off. So yeah, I guess it's up to you what you decide to do with her. Sticking with ornamental items, I got two of the shoe decorations and the first one was the Aurora one. So here it is, it's absolutely stunning. These are hand painted, they have some of them available left on the Disney Store website, just check them out. But one thing I will say is if you do click on the sort of subsection of shoe decorations, they're not all in that section because this one's not in the section but you can still actually find it if you just do a search for it so yeah just watch out for that so anyways um you've got a rose down here you have aurora's crown up here and then in the back you've got these three glitter stars for the fairies so flora fauna merryweather and on the sole of the shoe, it says Princess Aurora. We have our signature. And you have the Disney Store logo and the artist's very messed up signature. <laughs> but yeah, that was that one. And the second one that I got carries on with that particular theme. And is in fact the Three Fairies one. I'm not actually sure which one's my favourite. It might be this one. So this one has a wand as the heel. You have the signatures on the bottom, which probably will not focus, but you get the gist of it. Uh, it's got some wings on the back. 
the detailing in this one I think is just better than the other one and then obviously you've got um, bows and little hats and little diamantes for each fairy yet again and these are quite pricey these are 16 pounds each I don't think I actually paid full price for both I think I paid like I think I had a voucher where I had like money off so I think I got like 20% off one of them which definitely helped and finally we move on to the plush section now I don't know what happened to me, I was never a plush collector, but I have four sitting in front of me and two of them I am incredibly excited about. Um, the first one I'm going to get out the way is the Christmas Mickey plush. Now I got this bad boy because I think he was like £10 or £9.99 if you'd spent so much on the Disney store, which I did and I thought, well that makes him less than half price so I kind of, sort of, can't not buy him. And on his foot he says, Disney store 2017 and his cute little tag as yeah full price he was 20 99 so yeah he's just really really cute but his jumper keeps going up the way which is really annoying but yeah that's him he's just really cute really really cute and really soft as well now the reason i went into the disney store in glasgow on monday was because i was after the elusive mickey memories february plush but he sold out on the Sunday when he was released and when I asked the cast member they said that they were sold out all over Scotland possibly all over the UK who knows so I took the half and when I got to the till I'd spent like about 11 pounds which meant I qualified to get this little cutie for 7.99 on offer but because I had a 20% off code I only paid 6.29 for him I'm still not quite sure why I bought him I think I was just in a mood and I was like I will buy a Mickey before I leave this store so I thought let's get the Easter one he is so, so soft. He's got little silk trousers on, his little bow tie. He is just adorable. He's got his little Disney Store silver tag. And then obviously this is what they replaced the stamp with, which you'll actually see in a sec on a plush. And actually this hood does come down. His ears are underneath here, but I'm quite scared to cut the little thing in case it just goes all floppy, I don't know. but. That is Mickey. So as I say, in the Disney store right now in the UK, he is $7.99 if you spend more than £10 in store and online. If you want to buy him full price, he is £15. So that is him. Next up, we have a plush I bought on Facebook. Now you can actually get him online, but I decided to buy him on Facebook because he came with old stamp on his foot which is Disney Store Genuine Authentic Original. Now he is full price $23.99 on the Disney Store website and I paid £25 all in which included postage which I didn't think was too bad um, especially because he had that stamp on his foot but I only need one more plush now to complete my Beauty and the Beast collection. Can you guess which one I need to finish my set but honestly Oh, and by the way, this is the Beast. If you can't already tell, I never said which one he was, but he is definitely the Beast. He is absolutely amazing. I am so happy I got him. And yeah, from his lovely blue eyes, he's kind of got like a cheeky little grin going on. He's got his horns, the hair is so soft. You've got the bow for his ponytail. He is just such a soft material. This is like such a nice velvety material. The fact his tag's in immaculate condition as well. You can tell he was just like displayed, which is exactly what I do with mine. His feet, the stamp, and of course his tail. So that's my beastie. And the final plush I have to show you is one that, well, was incredibly rare for a while before they decided to bring her back and re-release her this year for Peter Pan's 65th anniversary. And that is Nana. Oh, I don't... Peter Pan's not my favourite movie. Nana's really cute. I think I got her because I was like... She's just really cute. So that's why I bought her, which is why I think I'm a kind of plush collector now. Because I kind of do have quite a few. But, yeah, she's really, really adorable. I know a lot of collectors who'd paid a lot of money for the original version were kind of annoyed when they re-released her. But the way that I personally seen it was that re-releasing her would mean the Disney store would actually get the money rather than greedy collectors selling her on for lots and lots of money. 
So that's the way that I saw it. And she is in um, the Disney Store US, she's in Disneyland Paris. She sold out online within the on the Disney Store UK within like a day, I think. Um, but she is in some stores still as well. And they did re-release a Peter Pan and a Wendy plush too. So if you want those, then go and check it out. But yeah, this is Nana from her little bonnet, her cute eyes, which are, <clears throat> they're more of like a greeny blue than just a pure blue, but they're so cute. This here is so soft. Just the detailing, her tag. She retailed at 20 pounds. You won't be able to read it, but she was 20 pounds. And tail. And I actually did have a 15% off code because I got an email at the start of the month because February is my birthday month. And as a happy birthday to me, the Disney store were like, here, have 15% off because it's your birthday. So I only paid 17 for her, which was even better. So yeah, that's Nana. So that's it for another Disney haul, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I really hope that you made it to the end because I think it was quite a long haul video. So if you made it to the end, then well done you and thank you very much for making it to the end as well as always if you did like this video it would mean the world if you could give it a big thumbs up for me comment down below some of your favorite items from this haul and as always if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to see more of this face i've been disney matt thank you so much for watching and i shall see you real soon bye for now guys